Aquarius, hi, how are you doing? So what do we need to know today? What do Aquarians need to know? Aquarius. Aquarius. These are the inner child cards, so we'll see what's going on. So Aquarians, we've got Snow White. So having a look at Snow White and what that means to us is all about the unconscious going to sleep. What is unconscious at the moment? What are you unaware of, Aquarians? Is it someone's trying to pull the wool over your eyes? Or are they trying to delay you in your activities and your desires and what you want? Snow White here has a lot of help, a healing aspect for Aquarians today. The dwarfs have discovered this beautiful child resting and they nurture her to grow up and mature. This is like your hopes and dreams maturing to allow them to flourish, even in the times where troubled times and challenges are being met. So for Snow White, she works tirelessly and very hard to keep the house clean, the food on the table. And this is a symbol for yourself that your hard will pay off. And if you nourish your dream and aspire now, what are you aspiring to? What is your ambition? Because when our subconscious is working very hard to keep our visions alive, we need to cooperate on our conscious level for it to work properly. Because if you remember that Snow White is relieved and awoken from her subconscious and brought about to a fantasy world, a brilliant fantasy of the prince coming, making her a queen. So on a level, your dreams are going to come true. But it is not the prince that is awakening her, it is herself. She allowed herself to be awoken. So what thoughts, feelings and desires and higher aspects of your mental body, higher mental, intuition, your sole purpose is being awoken. Allow yourself to be awoken. So Aquarians, let's have a look what else is helping you guys. Mother Goose. So mother, you're getting a lot of major arcana. So Mother Goose here. She brings about life itself to you. It's a combination and connection between the yang energy and the female yin energy that brings life to you. So you have to have a balance of both and it has to be present in yourself to allow that nurturing side to bring your ideals, situations to a growth period. Mother Goose here can go from one aspect to another. She can bring your emotions to your reality. There is a patience here when you're a mother because you've got to go, you've got to hold a child within you. So this means your dreams, your desires, your hopes, just allow them to materialize and develop, but nurture them. So from your subconscious, you can allow a time where it can happen. Your hard work, if you develop it, grow it, nourish it, will come about. But with the mother goose here, she is allowing all the golden eggs to be delivered to those who are asking. She's up in space between the moon and the earth. And she's waiting for you to say, yes, please. 
Where in your life right now are you saying, yes, please? Are you nurturing that? Or are you just stumbling around, waiting for things to happen? Oh, yeah, that could happen. You know, I'm on the right path. It'll happen if it's meant to be, which is great. But who's in control? Let's go back here to Snow White. Snow White works very hard for those who help herself. I'll repeat that, just, just so you might know. Snow White will work very hard for those that help themselves and others. So here the mother goose, if you don't say yes, please, she can't deliver an egg to you. You have to give permission, the permission to yourself and your life's purpose. So for some of you go, yeah, yeah, it, 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 if I'm meant to be in a relationship, you know, it'll come. It's meant to be. So I'm just plodding along and, you know, I'm getting I'm getting on with my life. You know, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. So what the universe hears and your higher self and those that are trying to get you to your destination, your spirit guide, is saying, oh, she's not ready. Oh, her sole purpose is to have this situation, but she's not even asking for it. So obviously she's not ready. Maybe in the next lifetime she'll ask or he'll ask or they'll ask. So where are we saying yes are you saying yes yes i want a relationship i want my my situation to be absolutely fantastic say yes today and then she will deliver that golden egg otherwise you'll get an ordinary egg that may not even be fertile just saying <laughs> i'm having a laugh so we have the guardian of hearts that's great isn't it so with the Guardian of Hearts, this is to remind you, where are your desires today? This is a calling, a calling to reach deep in your heart and feel the love. Open your heart now to the love that is surrounding you, because it is. The nurturing that you can give to yourself will come back thousandfold. In fact, love is endless never ending, always there. The presence of the God force, the soul source of love and the guardian of hearts is love. But we have to hear, it's a bit like the mother goose here. We need to hear the love. The dwarfs accepted Snow White. Ah, oh, a stranger in my house eating my food. Hmm, should I call the police? No took pity on her, had empathy and sympathy for her situation, which comes from love. I will nurture this child into maturity. I will give to her. And she was grateful and she gave back. So the situation is here, even though people try to stop us from achieving what we want to achieve, which is love. Where is the love in your life? Open your heart now to the love that is in there because it's in everyone. Honestly, it's a little seed like the mother goose. You have the ability to aspire to anything that you tap into. Ask your higher self, ask your spirit guides or even pray to God about love. Where is my love? What do you want? Let's have a look at the Moon Oracle card for the whole weekend. This reading is for the whole weekend. Um, sorry about that. That's why it's slightly longer for you guys. This is the Queen Moon Oracle. Right. So, boundaries. Boundaries. So, with boundaries here, where are your boundaries? Are you putting up a boundary round your heart? Or are you putting are there boundaries to your dream? 
Are we setting boundaries for ourselves, as in goals, or, or are we not setting boundaries and we find that things are limitless? We don't have to have a boundary on our heart. We don't have to have a boundary to our dreams and aspirations and the love that we can give to people and ourselves. Are people around you telling you, no, you can't do that? Or are you still telling yourself you can't do that? If you notice this lady, girl, whatever, is in a cocoon, it's like a crystal ball. Now she has to realise that she is not that small person. She can break out of her shell at any time. Another um, analogy of the mother goose. She, the mother goose is the mother. But who is the egg? The egg is yourself. You break free of the physical out of mother to become who you are. But you're still connected to mother. And we're all connected to each other. But when we believe in that boundary that cocoons us and keeps us small from aspiring, she's looking up to the moon, the universe. What else is up there is an analogy to what is inside of us. We're not just on earth, which is meaning we're not just our physical and our emotions and our um, mental. We are a spirit. We are a soul. We can aspire to greater things if we allow it. So thank you so much for listening and thank you to my, all my new subscribers. I'm so grateful for you. And please uh, make a comment so I can say hi to you all. And I'll see you on Monday. Lots of love. Thanks for watching.